Hello, beloved. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18 says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. The sentence actually begins this way in verse 16, rejoice always. Verse 17, pray without ceasing. And that doesn't mean that you pray, you know, every moment of every day and you, you don't breathe, you don't eat, you don't talk, you don't sleep, you just, you just pray the whole time. It means it's an ongoing, continual, very frequent and intense prayer. And then verse 18, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. What beautiful words, what a beautiful admonition, what a beautiful exhortation to give thanks in all circumstances. And I just want to remind you of this, give thanks for things or give thanks to God. Now, it's always good to say thank you. It's always polite, always appropriate to say thank you so much. If someone serves you some food, thank you. If someone gives you a gift, thank you. Someone opens a door. Thank you. But someone does something kind. Thank you. It's always good to be a very thankful, grateful person. It comes out of a heart of gratefulness. First and foremost, you must thank God. Uh, I, I love Psalm 136. Psalm 136 has a, has a refrain, for his loving kindness is everlasting. For his loving kindness is everlasting. And it's give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. For his loving kindness is everlasting. And it doesn't say give thanks for your car, give thanks for your house, give thanks for your kids, which you should be thankful for. But it's give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. For his loving kindness is everlasting. And the flavor of this, give thanks in all circumstances. It's giving thanks to God. This is God's will for you. You're giving thanks to him in all circumstances, just like Job did. God bless you.